Breaking news here on Baltimore Ravens Rundown. The Baltimore Ravens have agreed to a massive four-year, $98 million contract extension with defensive lineman Justin Matabike that will keep him around in Baltimore for 2024 and beyond. A huge deal for the Ravens and Matabike. Tyler Jones here. Thanks for joining us. And a couple days ago, Matabike received the franchise tag from the Ravens that guaranteed that he would stay with this team for the upcoming season. But then we wonder, all right, you got that done. Now can you take care of the big contract itself to lock him in so he doesn't have to play on the tag? And you can also free up some potential money to spend elsewhere. And Eric DaCosta, to his credit, got this done pretty fast. And here he is locked in. Here's more from ESPN's Adam Schefter breaking the news moments ago. Another deal. Ravens are signing franchise defensive tackle Justin Matabike to a four-year $98 million deal that includes $75.5 million in total guarantees and $53.5 million at signing per source. Ravens GM Eric DaCosta delivering a statement saying the following... Justin is one of the best defensive tackles in the entire NFL and a cornerstone on our defense. We are thrilled for Justin and his family and are equally happy for our fan base. This is a great way to start the new league year. NFL free agency beginning on Monday and Metabike is already taken care of. And what this does as far as the flexibility for now, Metabike was looking at about a cap hit of $22 million dollars from the franchise tag. Now that he won't be playing on the franchise tag, that he has this four-year deal done, that means his cap hit will be reduced, where he won't cost as much against the cap as he would have if he were playing on the tag. We're still waiting on the exact details of what that number is, but it will be less than that $22 million. And then the flexibility. You talk about the timing of all this. The Ravens' previous cap space before this deal was about $14.74 million, just under $15 million that they had to spend, of what they had to work with. And it's no secret the Ravens have a lot of free agents, right? 20-plus free agents, and then also potentially looking at other free agents to bring in, and you got to sign your draft picks and all that. So the Ravens needed some flexibility here, and that's what this deal creates is that flexibility able to spend on other players uh, with how this contract is going to be structured. In my opinion, this is an excellent move on the part of the Baltimore Ravens to not only lock up Matabike, who, as Eric DaCosta mentioned, is a cornerstone foundational player for this Ravens defense. Part one of that equation is a big deal. But then the timing of it, to get this taken care of, before free agency, so you know what you have to work with now. So you can move around some money, potentially, to go make moves and bring in other players. This is a win-win. Well done by EDC, the man, the myth, the legend, coming through once again. What is your one-word reaction to the Ravens' new deal with Justin Matabike? I'll give you my one-word reaction coming up in just a moment, but I want to hear from you guys first. Folks, this is why you subscribe to Ravens Rundown, as we are your Ravens free agency headquarters. I kid you not, I was getting ready to walk out the door and call it a weekend, and then this news happened. We dropped whatever we were doing, and we brought you this video as quick as we could here on the channel, because we love the Baltimore Ravens just like you do. If you're a diehard Baltimore Ravens fan, you got to lock us in and subscribe now to Ravens Rundown for the latest happenings all off-season long especially in free agency. It's going to be an incredible next couple of weeks. Stay up to date. If the Ravens make a move, you know we're going to talk about Break it down here on the channel. Subscribe now for free. You'll be glad you did. My one-word reaction, this is a win for the Baltimore Ravens, okay? You got one of the best defensive linemen in all of football. You got him in the beginning of the prime of his career, and you took care of this right before free agency started. That is a win all across the board for me. And when I look at Justin Matabike of what he exactly brings to the table to the Baltimore Ravens defense, he doesn't have a weakness to his game. This is one of the most well-rounded players in all of football. And he's really just getting started here, folks. 
his potential, the player that he could become in the National Football League is through the roof. And his value, I think that's another important thing to talk about here. I know there was a lot of discussion for several weeks, like, hey, do you give the tag to Meta BK? Do you give the tag to Patrick Queen? And it was real obvious that you had to give it to Meta BK because of the value, the position he's at, and what he brings to the table. I mean, if Patrick Queen ends up leaving, you still have Roquan Smith right there. I mean, that's going to make up for a lot of the loss if Patrick Queen ultimately ends up moving. The Ravens didn't have another replacement, another option to be in place of Justin Matabike. He was too important, too valuable to this team. The resume on uh, Matabike, a second-team All-Pro this past year, a pro bowler. Uh, We mentioned leading the Ravens in sacks with 13 total for the former third-round pick out of Texas A&M. Just a big deal for Matabike, a well-deserved payday for him and uh, certainly has uh, earned this moment. Let's uh, go ahead and we'll show you some numbers here on uh, Matabike of what he has done, not just this past season, but the years leading up to it. We mentioned 13 sacks in 2023, along with two forced fumbles, 12 tackles for loss, 56 tackles. All three of those, all all four of those categories were career highs for Matabike in 2023. Comparably speaking, 2022, he was solid. Five and a half sacks, eight tackles for loss, 42 tackles. Uh, You can see the improvement each and every year of what he's done in 2023, his best year so far, but he ain't done yet. And then when we talk about him being a well-rounded player, you look at the numbers from the nerds at Pro Football Focus, and his overall grade, 75.1, solid grade there. Run defense grade, 65.6, tackling grade of 59. Pass rush grade, that's when he's at his best, is 77.2, but still even with a coverage grade of 59.2. This is what we're talking about of him being a well-rounded player of doing everything well. And then to kind of put it all into context here of what we're talking about, of what Matt BK brings to the table, his 13 sacks that he had in 2023 was the most by any Ravens player in nine seasons, okay? Justin Matabikes don't walk out the door every single day. Uh, all right? I mean, it, it, he, he's, he's a breath of fresh air. Let's put it that way. But that's not all. He tied an NFL record this past season with at least half a sack in 11 straight games. So with Matabike, here's what I'm getting, folks. I am getting a player that's just beginning his prime, a player that's consistent as hell and a player that does everything well and is incredibly valuable. All of those things are what I'm getting out of Justin Matabike. That sounds pretty good to me, if I'd say so myself. How would you grade the new deal? I'll give you my grade in here in just a second, but want to hear from you guys first. A, B, C, D, or F. If you've been listening to this show, you probably got a pretty good idea what my grade's going to be. Let me know what your grade is, A, B, C, D, or F, in the comment section below. My grade, I got to go A. I got to go A. Everything about this, from the player that you got to the timing of this and the length, four years, you locked up Matabike long-term and a good football player. All of this is a win-win. I don't know how it would be anything less than an A at this point. I think EDC did a great job taking care of this. Four years, $98 million. Let me go to the numbers one more time here for you. 75.5 in total guarantees and and $53.5 million at signing for Justin Matabike to remain with the Baltimore Ravens. Thanks for joining us here on this special edition of Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports, our second Ravens video of the day. Breaking news changes everything around here. Stay up to date with your Baltimore Ravens as we got you covered all offseason long, specifically during free agency. It is going to be a jam-packed, crazy week next week. Lock us in, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for everything that we got throughout the free agency period. We'll cover you like no one else is, and we'll see you next time here on the channel.